Michael. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, how to, when, when a new version of Moodle comes out, such as Moodle 3 or 2.9, it tends to break uh, existing plugins to a greater or lesser extent, sometimes a little, sometimes a lot. And I'm going to talk about how you can update a Moodle to work with a, a plugin to work with the latest version. And the example I'm going to use is the question practice activity, which is an activity that uses standard Moodle question types and allows teachers to set up categories of questions and the students can then practice on their own, which fits in very well with the Moodle philosophy of social constructivism. So I took the uh, question practice module, tried it, run it in Moodle 3, and it came up with a whole bunch of fairly incomprehensible error messages, messages about logging, and it also had features that didn't seem to do anything, and I thought uh, it'd be good if that was fixed. But worst crime of all, appalling crime, it didn't work with my own awesome gap fill question type. It also didn't work with Gordon Bateson's drag drop question type. And I thought that was upsetting, but I'm a busy person, I've got other things to do. Uh, I let it lie for a while, and then drum roll sound, please, ladies and gentlemen. It's all Tim Hunt's fault, the quiz maintainer, because he posted at Moodle.org, and that big arrow points to something that says, hmm, someone really needs to make a version of that which works with the latest version, not Tim Hunt's accent. And I thought, that person could be me, and glory and fame would follow on inevitably. Um, so, how hard is it to update a plugin? I think that creating a new Moodle plugin from scratch is rock hard and difficult, requiring talent and imagination. Uh, whereas, by contrast, I think that updating a plugin, and I've done a lot of this over uh, several years, is fairly easy depending on which version of Moodle you're coming from. The older the version of Moodle, probably the harder it is. So, if you're about to undertake this task, I recommend that you check on GitHub first, because it could be that the maintainer's already created an update, but they just haven't put it on uh, GitHub or, on the, or in the plugins database, or they may simply have it on their own hard disk, and, and so why not avoid work if you possibly can? So try to contact the people who are currently using it. So, uh, put it in Git, if that sounds a bit scary. Uh, it's not as scary as it seems, not as scary as that ghost. Uh, it's easy for other people to see what you're doing and maybe advise, give helpful advice. It allows track to you to track changes. It's also just have a nice place where it's backed up. Um, how long did it take me to upgrade that? I had two weeks leave at Christmas from my job. I don't like Downton, I don't like Strictly, I'm not that fascinated by 1960s midwives. Well, I'm a little bit. Uh, and, and I do have friends, um, sort of-ish. Um, but I spent my Christmas working on it, and at the end I'd sort of finished it, but it turned out there were things to tweak for a little while longer. What do you need, ladies and gentlemen? You need a development environment such as ZAMP, WAMP, MAMP, LAMP, or CAMP. I made up CAMP, it doesn't exist. <laughs> that is, uh, currently I'm using the WAMP server, which is Windows, Apache, MySQL, PHP, and something else starting with P. I strongly recommend getting your head around Xdebug, because it's close to magic. You need, you need, you need an integrate, integrated development environment. You really do. I use NetBeans, it's awesome. PHP Storm is also pretty good, and it does some debugging things that others don't do terribly well. And it allows you to drill down through your code and understand the code. So I strongly recommend getting your head around an integrated development environment. I have a Windows 8 laptop. Um, I, you, you definitely need to do this. Go into your Moodle admin development environment and set the debug thing to uh, debugger. You really need to do that. Um, and then install Xdebug, which is a, a fiddle, but it's worth it. Um, now, depending where you're coming from, there's a chance if you're coming from a version of Moodle around about 2.5, you'll get messages about uh, logging not working, which I've illustrated there with some logs. Um, so it might say, add to log has been deprecated, please re rewrite, and you need to go to that URL, it will explain it, it's not as hard as it looks. So, I start working on this with uh, Downton on in the background, and his dog had died, and the airplanes had crashed and all that, and um, I got this error message, and it was incomprehensible, I didn't know what it was. I dug through the code, and it turned out that the Moodle Core API had slightly changed, and uh, so I just duplicated a tiny little bit of core code, which is probably a very bad thing, it makes me a bad person, and as the Australians would say, it's a bit of a bodgy job, but it fixed it. It's a quick and dirty fix. It may turn out to be dirty, but not quick in the long run, I'm not sure. So, 
There are things you forget, things I forget anyway. For example, it's really easy to forget backup and export because you're furiously just using the functionality of it. And the question practice generates is an error message. You need to increment the version number so the updates uh, happen in, uh, in, in, when it's installed. And then just do some sanity checking. So I found there was a table that had the caption, hello, um, which, and I replaced that with something uh, better than that. It wasn't goodbye, but it was something more meaningful than that. I discovered there was some non-working code when this has been developed. Uh, they'd been working on something and it had been a feature too far, so I just deleted it. It's in GitHub, so the code's still there. I did some tiny improvements, I think improvements. So of course, most importantly of all, my own question type works in it now. I gave it what I thought was a better icon and I've got a tin eye for design. And I also added some help buttons to documentation and uh, slightly improved the, uh, the, the wiki documentation. Uh, generic advice when updating a plugin is test, uh, test with other themes. Don't just test with the default clean or your own home-brewed one. And I recommend testing with Essential just because it's the most downloaded theme. So I presume it's also used, it's not just downloaded. Test against that. The end, ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to have a look at the question practice module, it is quite awesome. I didn't develop it, I can't take too much credit for it. You can actually have a play with it at that question type URL. Uh, and that is my email address, and thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you.